Greetings, family. Greetings, family. It's your boy, the minister, the Reverend Jonathan R. Whitfield, coming back at you once again with another video. So, y'all know how I like to do. I want to thank everybody for liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, and sharing the videos. I really appreciate y'all. We're really having the channel grow. Um, we're having a lot of people. We have a lot of great dialogue. Sometimes we get a little heated, you know, but we all right because we're growing and learning together. Um, I really enjoy having people understand their situation better as it pertains to Virgo men, um, Zodiacs, self-help, relationships, and also spirituality. It's kind of what I do. And I um, get a lot of great feedback, trying to growing, and a lot of people really contact me and tell me that you know, I really help their situation. And I appreciate that. It's from love. And it brings me joy that, um, you know, that people get help, just understand their situation better. So, that being said, so, if you guys want to book a private session, book <laughs> a private session, hit my email at jwhitfieldinspires at gmail.com. Remember, this is a part of my business. This is what I do. And, um, yeah, said, so, uh, today's video is going to be kind of short, I hope. I want to talk about a few tips on what should you do when dealing with a Virgo guy, right? What should you really do when dealing with a Virgo guy? So, um, through my emails and private sessions, I find a lot of people um, don't really understand what their job is to be doing. I know most of the stuff I talk about is how, how he feels about this, how he feels about that, how he views this, how he views that. Just to give an understanding of how we are, you know, good, bad, right, or wrong. So, um, today is just a few tips on what you should do. The first thing you should do is really have your emotions together, right? You're dealing with a real guy, you really gotta have your emotions together because we we get overwhelmed with another person's emotions pretty quickly until we really get to know you and really get you solidified in our mind and our hearts. It takes us a while because we move slow, we're earth sign. It takes us a while to really get locked in on one particular woman as, as it pertains to like having her not really bothering us too much. Everybody bothers us until we get accustomed to your energy, the way you move, and your style. You know, you just get accustomed to you. So you need to have your emotions together so you can know how to, okay, when you have your emotions together, it helps you deal with him. It don't, it don't throw you off. That way you can you can understand that when he does this, you're not going to feel some type of way or you're not going to feel like in a bad way because you have your emotions intact. Because dealing with a regular is like, I will admit, we are a piece of work, right? I will admit that. It's, it's, it takes a lot to deal with a regular guy. You know, it takes a lot. And I know this, we know this, and we don't mean to be that way, but um, it's just what it is. I'm just trying to let y'all know. So have your emotions together, because you're going to go through some things, you know, and you're going to be confused a little bit. The next thing you should do is have patience. I should, I probably should have led with that. You need to have patience when you deal with a real guy. Please, if you don't have patience, then this is not the guy for you because we move very slow and it takes us a while to get to know you. We like to build, we like to grow, and we like to create bonds with the person that we're interested in. And to do these things, it takes us a little time because we have to see you out, we have to fill it out, we have to understand you. We can't understand you overnight. We can't understand you through one encounter. We can't understand you through physical activity, you know. I know what I'm talking about. You know, it takes time. We have, to, we have to paint the entire picture for us to get a great understanding of you. And sometimes that takes time. If you have seen an artist that's painting a nice picture, you know, he's meticulous. He or she is meticulous in how they, each color matters. Each pixel matters. You know, each stroke matters. Because when you step back and look at the grand thing, you're going to see, like, oh, this is what it was trying to be. And we want to see that grand picture. So it takes us time. So you... As a woman, as a lady, um, you need to have patience because he's gonna be confused sometimes. He gonna his feelings gonna be up and down. Sometimes he's gonna back off. Sometimes he's gonna go ghost. Just that's just because he's dealing with his own stuff. You gotta remember, you're taking two entirely different people with entirely different goals and dreams, with entirely different mindsets, with entirely different upbringings, and you're putting them together, right, and trying to make something happen. And so that could be a lot for a Virgo man. Because we're so accustomed to, you know, just being alone and doing our own thing. And then 
when we add a woman to our lives, we have to get accustomed to who she is and how she is as a woman. Because women bring a lot of emotion, women bring a lot of everything, you know? But it's not a bad thing, it's just a fact of life. And so, we have to take our time, because we get overwhelmed very quickly. And so, you, as a woman, definitely need to have patience when dealing with this guy, because he got to figure you out, and that's just the honest truth. So, exercise patience. So, he can learn, you know, don't get, and, and slow down. That's the next thing. The next thing you need to do with dealing with a Virgo man um, it's slow down, slow down. I know you want to get in, I know you want to have fun, and that's not that's not having fun. I know you want to be married at hello, <laughs> you know, but it don't work like that for most regular men. It don't work like that, right? Because, like I just said, it takes us time to. Now we would, we would, we will would enjoy those things with you. We like to go out, have a good time. We might go to the park, to the movies. I mean, we like to do all those fun things, but. It's still, we're doing that so we can bond with you, so we can get to know you. We actually enjoy those things. We like the slow tempo. We like court. Think of Virgo men as like the old school courtship. Most Virgo men like these things. Now, some like to move fast, of course. But most, um, most like to move this way. So, you need to definitely um, do that when you're with a Virgo man. You know, slow down. Just slow down with everything. I know some people, some people situations where they, they do a lot within a month, within two months, within three months. And this kind of burns the Virgo out, the Virgo man out. Even though sometimes he might initiate those things. But you still, as, you know, as a, as a, as women, you know, you you all dictate the pace of the relationship. Even if some, even if a man is pushing up on you, you have the power to say, you know what, let's let's wait a little bit before we do this. Before we do that, let's let's slow it down. You know, and there's not, nothing wrong with that. You know, because, you know, it's better later. You know, just take your time. It's okay. I know in this world, everything is popcorn love. Everything is fast paced. Everything is moving. You know what I'm saying? They want you to have this and have that right now. But verbal is old school, most of them. So you got to just slow down. Slow down. You know, slow down. I, I had to tell so many women just like, yo, slow down. I like you, but I don't know you like that. You know, just let, give me time to love you. you know, give me time to get to know you. You know? I want you know, just give me time, slow down, because I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna move slow. Whether you move fast as a woman or not, he's still gonna move slow. So the best thing you can do anyway is just slow down. You know, slow down, and 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 by you moving, taking your time, you will see what if you really like this guy or not. Anyway, you know, if you move fast, your 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 mind and heart can be all invested. Now you in your feelings when he done when he took his time and said, you know what, this may not be what I want to do. But now you're angry because. You didn't, you didn't take your time, you know? But if you take your time, you give your time to, you give yourself time to see, okay, do I really like this guy like that? Do I really want to involve myself in this guy? You know, yeah, he nice, he might look nice, this and that. But let me see how I really feel. And you do that by just going out and having a good time, you know, just slowing down. Um, so yeah, slow down. So the next thing that you can do as a woman, when dealing with a Virgo guy, is keep your self-esteem together. Yes, and your self-worth. Know who you are before walking to that relationship with your brother guy. Because if you don't know who you are, you're going to be looking to him to tell you who you are. And you don't need, you don't need to do that to anybody. Because you're putting on him expectations that he cannot live up to. Only God can do this. Only God can tell you your self-worth. You have to find it with, from within. Yeah, it's cool. We all do need to hear affirmations from people. And we all need the community to let us know that we're doing a great job from time to time. Yes. But nobody should be that for you. Because they can't be that for you. Only God can do that. You have to you have to look from within. I see a lot of ladies do this all the time. They walk into the relationship, especially with Virgo men, because they may have been hurt in the past or whatever the case may be. You know, they feel the damage. And so now this one guy that they infatuated with, they expect him to be their happiness. No man should be your happiness. You can be happy with him, right? Y'all could be happy together. But if he's your happiness, then when he leaves or do something wrong, you are totally crushed. And now you're depressed. It can easily happen. And depression is a real thing. It can easily happen. So you got to be careful. Know who you are before you walk into these things. I've done it myself. So you need to know who you are, please. Because I, 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 I get a lot of private sessions dealing with this. And a lot of ladies don't be known. They know what's going on. And they look to this guy. As soon as he does something wrong, they are totally crushed. You know, all hell breaks through. That's because 
they put an expectation on him that he just cannot live up to. And broken men don't like, we don't like that obligation. We don't, we hate that we run from that. Yes, we are very healing. And yes, we'll be with you to the end. But that's a lot of pressure for a broken man. You're going to run him off. Because now, like, he he going to be in a situation where he can do no wrong. Like, any, any time he does something wrong, you're going to tear him up for it. And that's because you don't have yourself together. And you don't understand that you don't have, so you need to value yourself. You need to get yourself together before you walk into the relationship with him because he's not the one, you know? And it's a lot for any man. Ladies, understand that. All right, and the last thing you as a woman should do when dealing with the Virgo man is have your happiness together, right? This kind of goes into the last thing I said about self-worth. But this one is you need to be happy with yourself, right? If you're not happy with yourself, you cannot expect him to be happy with you. But he's another human being who's going through all kind of stuff just like you are. Even though we like that, like we're perfect, Virgo is not perfect, Virgo men are not perfect. We're going through our own stuff daily, you know? But if you're not happy with yourself, then how do you expect him to be happy with you? You know, just just ask, ask yourself that question. And men go through this too. There are men out there who are not happy with themselves and they're looking for a woman to be like a mother and, you know, but she can't she can't do it all because no matter what she do, he's not gonna be happy, he's not happy with himself. And so you have to search yourself and see are you really happy with yourself, with which where your life is. You know, that's and that's an honest question. I have to search myself all the time, like, okay, am I happy with myself? You know, and I'm very happy with myself, you know, and it takes time to be happy with yourself. If you're not happy with yourself, do not be ashamed of that. Just work on that. You know, a lot of people try to try to shame you for not being happy with yourself. It's okay. You just got to recognize that because when you recognize that, you can fix it. And so by the time you go into a relationship with a Virgo guy or any guy, you are, you are totally happy with yourself. It doesn't matter what he says or not. It's a, it's a Bible verse that I love. Um, I think it's in Philippians 4.19 or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it's talking about being content. Paul talking about how he's content in any situation. It's talking about self-happiness, self-worth, and peace, right? So he says something to the effect of, no matter if I'm rich, I'm content. No matter if I'm poor, I'm content. No matter if it's a good day or a bad day, I'm content. Why? Because I have self-happiness. I have self-peace. My peace is in God, right? I searched myself and I found well, I need to be happy. It's a peace that surpasses all understanding. So you got to be happy with yourself. You know, that way nobody can tell you anything about yourself. They can curse you out. Yeah, you might feel bad for a day, but next day you can be like, you know what? I know who I am. So be happy and know who you are before you go into the relationship because you, cause things going to happen. Things going to go wrong, ladies. So I already think, remember, know who you are. Be happy with yourself. She was, and I guarantee you, these things will go so much better in your life when you're dealing with this Virgo guy because you are whole. Wholeness. You know, it's about wholeness, man. I just want to uh, encourage y'all with these things so you can know this. Again, if you need a private session with me about your situation, relationship, self-help, spirituality, um, hit me up at jgriffinspires at gmail.com and I appreciate y'all. One love.